Since the launch of Optimal Revenue Management System in March 2021, the GRA has noticed some common mistakes made by taxpayers while utilizing the service. On this week's Talk Tax, we'll delve into some of these common mistakes and explain how you can avoid them. Welcome, I am Nikisha Castello and let's talk tax. Meet Mark. Meet Ashley. Mark is at the GRA to submit a tax return. While Ashley is using the new Optimal software to submit her return electronically. Optimal, Optimal Revenue, Revenue Management, Management System. System. Let's, Let's get, get ready, ready for 2021. 2021. During the busy tax season, we observed a number of mistakes taxpayers were making to register for e-services. So as part of this sign-up process and being familiar with the services of the Guyana Revenue Authority and also the process of using e-service, I would want to encourage persons just to read the guides provided on the website or follow the YouTube channel to have a clear guide on how to utilize the service. It is that simple. Just read the instructions from our website or watch the demo videos on GRA's YouTube channel. With this new e-services, you can send and receive secure messages, file tax returns, view tax account statements and upcoming returns, and make payments and update your registration details. Once you have successfully created an online account, you will be able to connect and to manage all your tax accounts. Unfortunately, many taxpayers fail to do any of the above, so we encountered common mistakes during the registration process. A few mistakes that taxpayers make. First of all, they don't use their TIN as their username. Sometimes um, they use things like, say for example, Elizabeth Bourne, or just eBorn as their username. That is incorrect. Um, sometimes they make mistakes with their email addresses. Instead of putting Gmail, they spell the mail incorrect. Another thing that taxpayers do, they forget to click on the confirm activation link when they initially sign up for the service. After registering the account, the taxpayer will be directed to their email to verify and log into their account. The second step requires the taxpayer to send us a message linking the account. This can be done by hovering over the inbox tab, select new message, selecting taxpayer e-services registration as the subject, and attaching a copy of identification such as the national ID card, by a page of passport or a driver's license. Taxpayers either neglect this phase or send the wrong type of documentation to file a return. After the GRA vets the information, the taxpayer is advised to continuously check their messages on the e-services website, especially if there were mistakes made during the registration process. So after one would have activated their account after clicking the email that would have, sent, would have been sent to them, uh, they were required to upload the documents or specified documents such as the ID, um, copy of their driver's license for identification purposes. What we would have found is that um, many persons did not follow the prescribed instructions and they submitted all forms of documents such as their tax return, um, all various types of documents which we could not have used for identification purposes to associate them with their tax account. Taxpayers with a tax agent must ensure that their tax preparer or tax accountant is registered as a tax practice professional before requesting this feature. If he or she is a compliant registrant, then the taxpayer must fill and sign the eServices new or update sign-up form, which can be downloaded from GRA's website. That's all we have for this week's Talk Tax. For more information, visit our website www.gra.gov.gy and our social media channels. I'm Nikisha Castello. See you next time.